Hey guys, Tommyboy601, and today we're going to be taking a look at the M1922, the newest gun to arrive in Battlefield, and we're going to talk about what DICE got wrong with it. So if you want to know all that, stay tuned, we're going to be diving right on in. Like I said guys, the newest gun to come to Battlefield 5 is the M1922 MG, aka um, the Hotchkiss is the actual gun name. And the 1922, uh, it's a gun we are getting in this, the fourth week of the Lightning Strikes Tides of War event. Specifically, this week is themed called Hold the Line. And it's appropriately appropriately themed because we are playing front lines. Now, to unlock the, the 1922, it's fairly easy. Uh, the first thing you gotta do is play a round of front lines. Um, and then it splits. You can either arm or defuse a bomb in front lines and, and then kill 15 enemies with a self loading rifle those are the semi-auto rifles that you have access to as a sniper like the rsc the model 8 the zh whatever or the most recent 1906 self slaughter those are those guns or you can go on the lower path and you capture eight objectives uh or and then kill 15 enemies with the mmg which of course this week's gun is an mmg so it's getting some practice with that gun both of these paths relatively easy to do and overall uh it's fairly easy from here. Next, they come back together, and this is probably the hardest thing of this week's challenges, and that's going to be winning a game of front lines just because sometimes your teams, they're not the best. Uh, they they uh, they sometimes just can't pull through, so you may have to kind of move around, find a team that's good, and then win a game of front lines. There's a little side challenge of killing eight enemies while you're moving for some bonus chapter XP. But once you get the gain ground challenge done, then you move on and it splits again. You either go the top path, which is uh, capture three objectives in a round of front lines. This really easy. I end up getting it on uh, Twisted Steel because if you start in the middle there and just roll straight through, you capture three objectives before you take um, over the bombs. Or the lower path is kill 15 enemies with an SMG. Also relatively easy. Um, I ended up actually getting the... Uh, the the F smg kills because i was playing on uh rotterdam and that's a good smg map and the last thing you need to do to get the 1922 is to uh score twenty five thousand in front lines i did that in about three matches um that just depends on you as the player uh up it's really up to you how long that takes and depending on your personal skill so Overall, it's a fairly easy gun to unlock. It is a fairly easy medium machine gun, uh, and it kind of falls in line with all the others. The base gun, it has a fire rate of 770 rounds per minute. You can bump that up to 900, which is the base fire rate for the MG42 or the upgraded fire rate for the VGO. In addition, you get a, you have a 150 round box mag so you have plenty of rounds. You can also kind of spec it so that you then get uh, so you then get a larger magazine. But let's go ahead and just dive on into the specializations. Me personally, I went down the left hand tree mainly. Um, the first choice is between recoil buffer and quick reload. Uh, I'll give a I'll I'll talk about why you don't really need quick reload on this in a second. But uh, I went recoil buffer, then I went flashless flashless propellant to keep myself hidden or at least hide myself a little bit better then i went for the upgraded fire rate of 900 rounds per minute and finally i went with chrome lining that uh it's either that or the incendiary bullets that do extra uh damage versus aircraft i don't really see you using a uh doing damage against aircraft that's not really something that happens in this game it was something that we did a lot of in battlefield one but nothing really like that in battlefield five so i went the, with the chrome lining because that uh it does feel like it it does feel like it overheats kind of quickly and that keeps that fire rate up and lets you keep on shooting for longer and that's kind of how i spec it i did try it the other way around where i spec it for accuracy um and then the the larger magazine and that's fun but uh I you don't really need 250 rounds is my thing so I didn't really keep it spec like that I went back to this way something that was very interesting about this gun is its actual reloads it's what you what you would used to call a short reload the reload while you still have bullets in the magazine is actually longer than if you had a completely empty gun for some reason when you uh when you have a completely empty gun your guy just shoves more rounds in and uh pulls 
pulls the charging handle and it's ready to go, which is a much shorter reload than when he has to pull the uh, the the belt of bullets out and reload them. I just kind of find that I found that kind of interesting and something that I was like, oh, I really don't have an incentive to reload this gun unless I know I'm not going to be in combat. Um, it's almost easier just to fire off the remaining rounds in my gun. That is a quicker way to reload. So, overall in-game, the Hotchkiss, the M1922, a very interesting and fun gun. It fits right in with the other medium machine guns. I think it slots right in the middle of the VGO and the MG42 as far as rounds, like number of rounds in the available to you in, in each reload, along with the controllability. I think it's a little less controllable than the VGO, but way more controllable than the MG42. So it's it's that nice middle ground in there, and it plays really well for that. And it's a gun that I think I'll keep using. I'm I kind of find myself partial to the VGO because of its accuracy, but this is definitely a second. Uh, this is definitely something I'll keep in mind, and I'll probably be using uh, in the future. So that's that's it in game. Now I want to talk about the historical bits about the Hotchkiss, about them 1922, because this is what Dice got wrong, and it's something that kind of concerns me. Like, I wish Dice had looked more into this weapon and done research and kind of changed it for the game, and this is why. So, a couple of things. One, the Hotchkiss, uh, the 1922. It was up. It and the Sure Show were up uh, against uh, each other to get. France's main light machine gun contract during World War One, of course, the Sure Show one. Um, so the Hotchkiss company kind of just started pimping out. They just kind of went all over the place looking for people to buy their guns, and as a result, they would do a lot of weird things with this gun. First off, the vast majority of the guns that were made were not belt-fed. In fact, they were either a overhead magazine, kind of like the Bren, or they were a strip-feed gun. Um, and they would either have a 20 round overhead magazine or a 15, 24 or 30 round feed strip. This all was based on uh, the size of the bullet because what would happen is Hotchkiss would go pitch this gun to a military, pitch this gun to some sort of force. They say, oh, we need it in our caliber. They said, aye, aye, we can do that for you. They'd make it up. And depending on how big of the bullet, the caliber that they wanted to use, that kind of determined how big, uh, how many rounds they could fit in the feed strip now another interesting thing is the stock rate of fire in 1922 of this weapon was a measly 220 rounds per minute which is vastly different than the 770 that is uh that is shown in game now um the hotchkiss gun was modified and used by the greeks during world war ii uh this modified gun did have a fire rate of 450 rounds per minute but once again that is very different from the 770 rounds per minute uh in in the game the the next thing i found the the box magazine now the box magazine feed was only really ever given to two different governments to try out the first one um S spain and the second was the british now the british guns that were done this way they were only ordnance testing guns. They were sent over as like, hey, check out this weapon. Do you want to purchase it? We hear you need a box mag, so here's a box mag. Where um, the Spanish did actually order in bulk um, this this kind of uh, box magazine feed. Um, other guns that other other nations that use use the Hotchkiss, um, Greece, like we had mentioned earlier, but they were a strip feed. China, which was also a strip feed. Czechoslovakia, which was also a strip feed. Turkey, which was also a strip feed, um, and France, which was also strip feed. So the the vast majority of these of the Hotchkiss in various nations' hands were strip feed. So I'm wondering why we got this box med box mag version, and I'm kind of disappointed because this could have been a really cool opportunity for for a different kind of medium machine gun play. Like I said earlier, this gun slots in right between the VGO and the MG42. And we could really use some variation in the medium machine gun category. Uh, it would have been really cool if they gave us a a 15 or a 30 round uh, medium machine gun that you had to buy pot up to use, but then it did just crazy damage with a super slow rate of fire. Like, 
Could you imagine if you had a 220 rounds per minute rate of fire, but you only did like, but you did 50 damage. So you're still getting a time to kill that's re relatively on par with a bunch of the other guns in the game. But up close, you do a massive amount of damage and you can drop that off to um, like a three or to like a three round hit at longer ranges. And this would have been a very interesting way and a new way to play the medium machine gun role. Um, but uh done in a different new unique way that that could have brought some variety to the support class and it just would have been very interesting to see so uh yeah that's my little end of a rant there guys so guys if you like the video my name is tommyboy601 i hope you have a great rest of your day hit that like button hit that subscribe button comment below do you like the way that the the Hotchkins, the M1922, was implemented in the game? Or do you want to see it changed? Would you like to see it in a different form uh, than is given to us? All of that down below, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day. See ya.